Welcome everyone to another lesson on Khadija Academy. Before we start this lesson, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go and start our lesson. Good afternoon everyone. In today's lesson we will discuss the two-way switch circuit. So the two-way switch circuit is also known as the three-way switch circuit. This is usually used or commonly used in residential and commercial lighting systems. Why do we use this? In order to control a single lighting, uh, lighting, fixture, lighting fixture from one location or a set of lighting fixtures from different or two different locations. For example, if we have a large corridor and I would like to control the lighting of this corridor when I enter this corridor at the beginning and I would like to turn it off at the end. So I would like to control the light from two different locations. In order to do this, we need a two-way switch circuit. The applications of a two-way switch circuit that it allows us to turn the light on or off from either the switch regardless of the position of the other switch, as we'll see in the next slide. This circuit is used in staircases where we have uh, where we have at the top and bottom of staircases in order to control the lighting. We use it in hallways, in long hallways or corridors. Two-way switches are used to control the lights from different points along the hallway. It can be used also in large rooms such as conference rooms, living rooms, and this will help us to control the light or lighting, uh, lighting from two, uh, from multiple, uh, multiple entrances or different areas of the room. We also use it in the bedroom when we enter our bedroom and when I'm going on bed and I would like to turn off the light without having to go again to the entrance of the room. We also use it in the kitchen, kitchens, especially those which have different entrances or different locations. So this provides us more flexibility in controlling the lighting itself. So let's look at the components of a two-way switch circuit. So for example, if I would like to use it in a staircase, for example, when we enter, I would like to click on the switch to turn the light on and when I go up to the apartment I will click to turn off the light. So how can we use this circuit? So in this circuit you will need two switches as you can see it is called it is a specific type of switches called the two-way switch. Two-way switch here and two-way switch here. Okay and we need a power supply obviously we need a power supply in every uh, electrical source or every lightning system or whatever the electricity uh, source and we need the light uh, fixtures or the uh, luminaires or whatever the type of lighting used now this circuit will help us understand so we have two way switches this is a two way switch and this is a two way switch especially specifically similar as these two in these uh, two we have the line and the neutral which is our supply right neutral and phase supply now in the in each of these switches let's say a uh, uh, switch number a and switch b let's type it switch a and switch b let's say this is a switch a and this is switch b okay now these switches has three terminals each switch has a three terminals uh, common com or common and l1 line 1 and L2 common L1 and L2 okay similarly here you can see L1 and L2 let's type it so here we have L1 and this one is L2 this one L1 and this one is L2 and we have that common uh, point here this is our common point common and this point 2 okay similarly as here so what are we going to do? Number one, we are going to, to connect L1 with L1 and L2 with L2 for each switch. So you can see we connected here. Let's delete this. You will see that L1 here go all the way down to L1 here. 
okay and the l2 here goes all the way down to l2 okay so we have connected these two which we call it the travel load terminals which connected these two switches electrically you can see l2 was l2 l1 was l1 okay now the third part which is that common this one is used to uh, connect the supply with the lighting fixture we will see right now so as you can see what happens exactly is that we are going to connect the line with the common of the first one and we are going to connect the uh, second terminal of the lightning bulb with that common remember that in order for a light bulb or any lighting lighting fixture in order to operate it needs line and neutral so we always connect the neutral directly with our uh, lighting uh, fixtures as you can see here and the phase will be taken using this switch okay these two switches okay connected like this you can see common goes all the way to the line or the phase okay so what happens here is that when we switch one it will change the state okay it will change the states for example if, there, if we click here and the light bulb is on it will be off if we click here if it is on it will be off and etc so it is uh, flipping or uh, toggling the state of the fixtures for example if the light is off and you flip switch a to position a on uh, to on position the light will be on and if we switch p to the opposition the light will be turned off and so on so let's understand how does this even work without it uh, much hustle you can see here that here l1 connected to l1 l2 is l2 one with phase common with phase and another common with light let's look at this circuit you can see they are on the same position right in this case they are on the same position so let's look at the current so we have neutral and phase so let's say that the current will go through phase like this through here like this go all the way during the positive cycle of course of the ac supply like this so our light will be on right now let's say i flipped any of these let's say i make this one and instead of here i flipped it like this so you'll see that the phase is connected to this bottom line if we go all the way here you will see we have open circuit this is an open circuit and this one is also open circuit right because we we flipped the switch so this light bulb will be off right the switch goes to this position and this one is still at this uh, this one so they have opposite positions so this light bulb will be off now if i go all the way let's say i am here if i click on this switch so this switch will go and instead of here we go like this connected like this right so you will see that the light is connected like this all the way to the face so it will be on once more so again in the original position on and on they are uh, having phase connected to all the way to the light if i click here or here the switch will be flipped to the other side and the other side is open circuit so it will not turn off the light it will turn off the light okay now when this one becomes here and if i turn click on this one too then the phase will go through this one okay that is the whole idea okay similarly here you can see that we are here a common is connected to l1 l1 is an open circuit with this common so this light bulb is off if i click on this one this switch will be like this will be connected to l2 okay so the current will go like this through here all the way like this to the light bulb so our light bulb will become on once more if i click on this one so this position will be flipped like this so we'll see that this is on l1 and this is on l2 they are not connected with each other okay so in this case 
this light bulb will be off once more okay this is the whole idea of the two-way switch in reality how does it look like switch like this normal switch however it has three terminals l1 l2 and common you can look at this figure here you can see a normal uh, lighting switch one gang uh, light switch two-way you can see here common l1 and l2 you can see the three terminals one going to this one going all the way to l2 one going all the way to l1 and one is going to the common look at this one this one is a two gang uh, two gang two-way switch two gang because we have one and two so it will be two gang and two way since this one is a two way and this one is a two way you can see l1 l2 and the common okay so i hope this lesson was clear uh, for you and you understand now how does a two-way switch circuit work thank you for watching this lesson i would like to invite you to our academy khadija academy premium uh, membership which will help you learn more about electrical engineering in this academy or in the academy membership you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in mass electrical engineering basics uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations for example we have electrical design we have courses on electric circuits power electronics etab matlab solar energy wave energy wind energy and much more you will find also in this uh, academy you will find the different uh, feedbacks from some of our uh, students that joined our uh, courses you can for example um, uh, join our membership for just uh, a small fee per month or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever and not only this but any any new course that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers magnetic circuits machines uh, power electronics uh, load estimation lighting design lightning also design earthing system cables uh, generators um, light current systems or low current systems uh, of grid design on grid design very very lot <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics okay and you will find that inside when you join this membership you'll find this uh, blueprint that will guide you in which classes you will start with when you join this membership so thank you and see you in our um, membership on khadija academy